inversions of power mill prior to power mill 2012, linking of blade finishing toolpath passes was required which could affect the surface finish of the component. We can now see this on the screen where we do have a blade finishing toolpath where each pass has been linked with a circular arc. Potentially this can lead to marking upon the component which is highly undesirable. Now in Paramil 2012 a spiral option has been included in the blade finishing strategy just as it has on other power mill machining strategies such as steep and shallow machining and constant Z machining. This now enables the machining of a blade surface to have only one entry point and one exit point. When this toolpath is compared against the new power mill 2012 strategy we can see there is one tool pass that goes around the full feature of the blade with only one entry point and one exit point. This new functionality is found in the settings of the blade finishing form underneath the machining tab. In this machining tab next to offset we have merge. When the merge offset option is used the passes can be linked to form one spiral continuous pass but if either offset up or offset down options are used then there may be open passes which therefore will not form part of the spiral. On this twisted impeller we can see on the screen it is possible to either start it at the top of the blade or at the bottom of the blade. This is also found on the machining tab at the bottom where it is st shown as start position. This is also just above the checkbox which enables the spiral feature to be enabled. But it is worth repeating that the merge offset option has to be used if you are required to machine this blade in one constant pass. The ability to control the tool points at the leading and trailing edge to enter and exit the component greatly reduces the risk of tool marking on the component when the tool approaches and leaves. As it is not acceptable for the tool path segment to start cutting in the middle of the main concave or convex surface of the airfoil. These surfaces must be pristine after machining and not contain any noticeable marks. Any witness marks which are made will have to be removed either manually with skilled labour or automatically with very expensive hardware. With this in mind it is extremely desirable to position the start points of the toolpath on either the leading edge or the trailing edge as any witness marks that are produced are smaller, less obvious and easier to remove if polishing is necessary. This new spiral option in the blade finishing strategy greatly enhances the capability of this functionality.